Hi, my name is Andrew Hogan. I'm a data scientist at Hogan Consulting Group and creator of the VBOM. For many design firms, shelling out five to 10 grand per engineer on upgraded Autodesk licenses isn't an option, but that doesn't mean their time is any less valuable. Computer vision has a huge impact on businesses with tight margins driven by labor costs and repetitive, time-consuming processes. Instead of devoting employees to these chores, machine learning allows businesses to shift their employees back into revenue-driving roles. Today, I'd like to give you a quick walkthrough on what challenges the VBOM solves and the impact those solutions have on the way businesses operate. I'll launch the program to start things off. After loading, we have a directory filled with PDFs. These are wire harness schematics meant to adapt control consoles to the electrical components in a custom frame or vehicle. If I hover one, we get a preview of what it looks like, and selecting it adds it to the process batch window. As you can see, these wire harnesses can be pretty complex, such that calculating the bill of materials for a schematic by hand can take upwards of six hours, with most schematics spanning multiple pages which is fine for the VBOM, as selecting consecutive pages will process them as one. I'll start processing. The VBOM produces bills of materials for wire harnesses at a rate of about 8 minutes per the more complex pages, and as little as 3 to 4 minutes per the simpler splice layout pages. It works by converting the schematic PDF into a binary image, in which every pixel is either a 1 or 0, and then separates the groups of 1s and zeros into distinct image regions. It analyzes each region, looking for the shapes it recognizes as signposts for schematic information, such as these circles which signify endpoints for the harness. Breakers and switch panels are common examples of harness endpoints. After mapping out a page, the VBOM uses a neural network to read text and identify other symbolic shapes. The text is organized by column and then row, and rows are matched against an internal database of all parts which is just an automatically generated spreadsheet like one you could create with most purchase order software. Once all the key information from a page has been processed, the VBOM will continue to process the next page in the batch. Once all pages have been processed, it will pair identical wire identifiers, which represent the same wire, and find the lengths of the harness between their two endpoints. All of this information is compiled into a bill of materials and exported into an Excel spreadsheet. Using the Excel comparison tool built into the VBOM to compare the generated bill of materials to a hand-calculated one, we can confirm that the two spreadsheets have an identical set of counts per part and lengths per wire. An hours-long process, rife with human error rates higher than 60%, reduced to a coffee break. I hope this example gives you ideas on how AI could help improve your own processes. For more information, please feel free to contact us through our website at hogancg.com.